Hi everyone, James Mansell here bringing you yet another tutorial. This is going to be a bite-sized tutorial. I'm going to show you sort of a part two to my French twist look. Everyone's asking me how I got the blonde wig with the bump on top, how I achieved that, and it's actually super, super easy. I'm going to show you guys right now. All you need is a few things. You just need any old type of hairspray, a wig brush, and a teasing brush, and any old wig that matches the wig you currently have, and this one matches it enough. Now let me show you how you can achieve this extra, extra bouffanted look. Now we're just going to take our old wig and take our brush and just smooth through it. Trying to get it as smooth as possible. And if you're wondering why I haven't posted videos in a while, I just got over being sick, which is why my voice still kind of sounds a little Jennifer Tilly. I'm Chucky. Shake her out a bit. And you're gonna freak. It's so easy to do this. But this is an old, old pageant trick. You take the wig and you fold it in on itself. Like grab some the ends here and just tuck it in, creating sort of like a hairball. And it should look something like that. And it's taking our wig. We're going to move around the bangs a bit and just plop it right here on top. And taking a couple bobby pins, we're going to loosely secure it down to the head. All right, it'll look a little crazy like that at first. We're going to take our brush and smooth it out, holding it down with our fingers and just brush it through and smooth it. And have some bobby pins at the ready. This is an old, old school pageant technique to create sort of a beehive with a different wig. You could also do this in the front of your head to create like that Betty Page pony kind of look or add a bunch of these on here and just make a huge, you know, barrel curl stack. There's really no limitations to what you can do as long as you don't mind having a bunch of wigs on your head. It could get a bit heavy. I guess that's the one downside. But with this, it's actually pretty light considering it's only two wigs and it's a really, really simple stack. Like always, with pinning wigs down to wigs and stacking, you have to go by a two pin rule where you crisscross the pins to lock them in. If you pin one place, you gotta put another one crisscross to keep it in. And the good thing about attaching it to a French twist is that there's lots of hair and pins for it to catch on to and lock into. And you can do this to any old kind of hairstyle, whether it be a long hairstyle like the one I was wearing in the video, or you can just pile on and pile on and get it up to the ceiling. It's really up to you and you just keep adding bobby pins until you feel like you got the security you want. What got me inspired to do hairstyles like this is I've always loved the hairstyles of girls like the Ronettes and girls that were in girl groups in the 1960s. They always wore their hair in big bouffants like this. I always just thought it was just the prettiest thing in the world. And we just use our brush and smooth that out. And if you get some flyaways, then you use a bobby pin and just pin it down. I'm using my fingers, gonna make it all meet here in the middle. And we have a little section here that we can have some fun with and style up to make it more decorative and fun. All right, and using some hairspray, we're gonna add some resistance into the hair. All right, and now what we're gonna do is do some fidgeting around with the bangs so that we get them resting on our head right. All right, grabbing more bobby pins. We're gonna secure down the bang. All right, and the rest of this is really just smoothing it out and getting it nice and smooth to get it to look a little pretty. But you can achieve this with any old wig you have. Short wigs work best. All it is is literally just folding up a hair piece and pinning it on. And the more pins you can add to it, the better. The more security you're gonna have. You don't want it to be too wobbly because next thing you know, you'll have it like toppling down while you're performing. And see, just like that, we add an extra layer of glamour to our head. It took that French twist to the next level and give it a nice bouffant right up top. And you can do this for any kind of hairstyle. It could be a longer hairstyle, short. It's completely up to you. You could even put a braid around here to disguise some of the seams or a bow or jewelry, anything if you're liking. Now, I'm gonna try it on and show you the finished result. I'll be right back, okay? Hi everyone, this is the finished result. I put a bow right here to hide the seams and it's in front. That way you know I'm going steady. <laughs> Now, 
This is a super, super easy hair tutorial. It takes literally five minutes to do it. Like I said before, it's just flipping a wig inside out and pinning it to your head. The only real work is just smoothing it out to make sure it's nice and smooth looking. And if you want it to be even bigger, you can take some polyfill or even a bump and just pop up the wig a little bit more and give it a huge bump and it'll get even more voluminous. Or even on top of that, you can do that as well as tease it and get just a big giant voluminous, you know, beehive going. But this is the most basic way to do it and it's the, by far the easiest way to do it. And like I said, you're not limited to just one wig. You can do two, three, four and have a big barrel curl situation going. It's great for a pageant, so give it a try. Put a bump on your hair and give yourself a nice little beehive updo. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And comment down below and let me know what you want to see next. I am listening. So, until next time, kittens. Bye. Click here and learn how to French twist. Or see how I color jewelry in a pinch. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll give you the Winchester curse. You know you can't afford that kind of home renovation. Click it!